Hey guys, it's me Falcor. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm basically going to be going over the Hero Guild's uh, Hero Coin Challenge, or challenges more so. Uh, basically, it's a thing on the Discord server. I'll leave a link in the description, obviously. Um, but you can basically farm in-game items and do these challenges. These challenges will give you the coins, and with the coins, you can do stuff like buy Artix points codes. You can enter raffles for Artix points. Uh, you can enter raffles for stuff like calendar codes as well, uh, as well as just buying stuff on the Discord server like uh, roles and uh, names and whatever else. And uh, yeah, either way, I'll go for everything as best as I can. And uh, yeah, let's begin. Okay, so like I said, it's on the Hero Guild's Discord. Uh, when you join originally, it should look something like this. If not, just click the rules here, read through them really quick, make sure you understand them. And then you can go to verification make sure you're verified do slash verify as you can see here and you'll be good past this if you go to self roles you can basically click different things over here you can get notified for different things like if you want to help people when the server reset is uh, set advice stream alerts uh, which faction you're in etc etc these are all really nice to use Alongside these roles, there's also special roles. So for example here, class collector, if you own 100 classes, you'll put it in achievements here. And then one of the officers or staff will basically give you the role on your Discord account. Say for example, we'll click value. If you click value, he's got British boss man and stuff like that. Uh, either way, you can get these achievements and roles by doing that. Uh, Pass to this to actually go to the hero coins challenge and go through all these different, you know, sections of the Discord server, you go here and you'll see hero coins. So you click the hero coin start page. So as you can see here, as course is basically mentioned, you know, if you're bored in game and you don't want to do stuff like AFK, you can come here, start a new challenge and basically start farming these items if you don't have them already. And the way it works, it will use your character page. So you verify by using your character IGN and it will look at the items you have in your inventory and then say if you have them ready for the quest, etc. It doesn't use them obviously, but it will see that you have them. Each quest is only like a one-time thing too. But uh, as you can see here by Corsa, you know, you can do it by completing certain quests created in game, participating in different events, talking in the Discord server. If you're part of a hero guild and you talk in, you know, the chat and whatnot, you get a coin as well. The harder the quests are, the more coins you do get. So as you can see here, earn up to 25,000 coins per quest. Um, 25,000 coins is a lot, so I'm imagining that quest is also super, super difficult. Probably collecting a bunch of endgame farm stuff as well. And as you can see here, there are daily and weekly events, so you'll see things like, oh, create a set under this theme and you'll get hero points, as long as you do participate or whatever the requirement is. As I mentioned earlier, you can buy stuff like custom rolls, enter raffles, get custom art, and then you can also buy codes outright. So you can buy it for 1, 5, and 10k Artix points with your hero coins. Obviously, they cost more than the raffles. However, it just guarantees that you're going to get Artix points. The quests come in different tiers, as you can see here as well. So challenges, 8 tiers, go from legendary all the way to D. D is the easiest, legendary is the hardest. Okay, so as shown here, course has basically said, here's an example. This is what a quest will kind of look like. I'll show you it as well. But you go to the hero coin challenges down here. And uh, you'll challenge verify, you'll put your AQW username in, and it'll verify your account. Past this, to start a challenge, you'll just type challenge new, and then you can start beginning. If you don't like the quest you did receive, you can either put in a certain name for the quest, uh, which you'll find eventually if you look around often enough, or you can just click refresh or new quest, whatever it's called, and it will give you a new quest. It's just a button underneath the actual challenge itself. And as he said here, if you just read the pin messages and the challenges in the shop, it'll basically tell you how to buy stuff and how to do whatever else you'll need to do. The pinned messages is just up here if you've never used Discord, and you'll see the pinned messages show up when you're in these channels. Okay, so before I actually go to the challenges, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you these two different channels here. These are just the announcements of different things, winners of events, etc., etc. The events are here. You'll see new events posted if you have like uh, the role listed here, like Hero Coins announcement. You'll get a little notification telling you there's a new event and you'll see it up here as well, for example. And you'll basically find these different things. There's a scavenger hunt, a matching theme, you know, a New Year's theme, royal sets, stuff like that. 
and you get stuff like 100 hero coins, whatever it turns out to be for the event. Uh, winners may get more, I'm not too sure yet. I haven't looked too much into that. However, that's the general gist of that channel. Okay, so as mentioned earlier, if you go to the hero coin challenges text channel and you just click pin messages, Corsa goes through all the different uh, like commands which you'll type in chat here. So first you'll need to verify, then you can start a new challenge, see your current challenge, turn in a challenge when you've completed it, see all your completed challenges, and then also see a leaderboard of different hero coins and challenges people have done as well. Okay, so as mentioned, if I just type in slash challenge verify, and then I put my AQW username in, which is Falk, it should basically um, verify me there, and it will look at my inventory through my character page. And to start a new challenge, I'll just type in slash challenge new. As you can see there, you can just click on it as well. And it should bring up a little box here. As you can see, it's a standard challenge. It's an A rank. Darkon's restaurant, the progress. Here you'll need to collect different things like the different debris, as you can see there. And if I type in challenge current, it should show the amount of things I have in my inventory, which should be zero, as you can see there. If I scroll up a bit more, I can just click reroll and it will give me a new challenge. A D rank, book of wisdoms, pretty easy. Reroll again. Another one. The lower the rank, as you can see, the more or the less hero coins you receive. The higher the rank, the more you will receive. Here you can also see the different helpers, as you can see here. So potential helpers, it'll bring up a different batch of people each time. Uh, whoever is on the quest currently and uh, it's pretty nice you can ask them in game just go to them go oh do you mind helping me out and it's pretty useful that way okay so if i just type in slash challenge new as i said you can specify by name so just click enter on that you can click challenge name when if i want to do disc collector for example i'll just type in disc collector press enter and it should bring up that so if i check the challenge current it will tell me the requirements which I have selected and which I have done. As you can see, data disk 3, 4 and 5 are needed. And you can see the potential helpers here are Corsa, uh, Isabel and Cake or Kike, however you do pronounce that. And uh, yeah. Okay, so to actually get these data disks, as you saw, I'm basically just going to join the different maps. Uh, so let's join Time Void. Uh, I'll walk you through what you have to do at least for this one. So it said on the wiki, it's screen five, click with green serpents, uh, I. Whatever screen five may be, I can't remember. I'm hoping it's this way. However, you'll click the green I, and hopefully you'll receive a data disc. As you can see, a pop up there, there's data disc three. Okay, so to get the data disc uh, four, I think it is, or possibly five, whatever one it is, you'll join slash sewer. You need to do HAL 9000's quests, in hyperspace first up to motion 4 and you just click this here and you'll get data disc 4. For data disc 5 you want to kill the fem cult worshippers so you slash join Fosia and you come all the way up here it's a bit of a long walk there are some in other spaces as well walk over here hopefully this doesn't take too long and kill these fem cult worshippers Okay, so as you can see, got the drop, it didn't take away too long, only 3 kills. And uh, yeah, now that that's done, I'll head back to Discord. Okay, so as I said before, if you just do slash challenge current, it should show you your current challenge and what you've got kind of in your inventory. As you can see, that's all done. It will tell you here, to actually turn in the challenge, you'll do slash challenge turn in, and you'll get your 50 coins. So if I just do that, slash challenge turn in, you should say done, there you go finished and you've received your 50 coins a pretty easy quest to do and you got 50 coins in about maybe five minutes okay so the final place here is going to be the hero coin shop if you go up here to the pin messages once again you can see how to buy an item you can check the balance of a user you can check the leaderboard for the hero shop so the coins uh leaderboard you can view the shop and what's in the shop and you can get some help um, there's an FAQ basically telling you how you can get coins and coin boosts which do occur every now and again where you can get extra coins and um, yeah it gets updated every 10 minutes for the messages as well so either way let's go through these different commands if I just show you slash balance it should hopefully come up with my balance 
which is 5,402 coins. Besides this, if I just do slash view shop, it should bring up the shop and the items within it. As mentioned, there are different things here. So you can buy a raffle ticket for 200, for 200 coins. Uh, it's for a 5k AP raffle and ends on January 1st. You can buy a calendar code raffle for 250 coins, which ends on the 15th. Party president, different basically, you know, roles in the server. Okay, and besides those different roles, there's also the stuff like here, the harmony or harmony. And um, for 1k APs, you can get 5k APs and 10k APs. As you can see, there's like only two, only two, only one left. These do get restocked uh, by sponsors who are sponsors of the server. And um, yeah, it, don't worry if you do miss out, uh, they will restock them eventually. Also for 250,000 coins, there's this golden Moglin head. And um, yeah, that's it. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be adding something towards this eventually, just because it costs so much money. No idea what it will be yet. However, if you want to save 250,000 coins and buy this, uh, go ahead, I guess. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is also show you one thing. Uh, estimated restock date, January 15th. Uh, these are for the AP codes. And also I'm going to buy an item. Uh, so to buy a raffle ticket, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do slash buy. And then it'll show an item. I will copy this up here. And I'm going to type that. And it should say something, hopefully. Yeah, there you go. Do you want to buy it? Are you sure for 200 coins? I will just type Y click enter and it will show me that like i said it will show you that you bought it if you go to your balance again it should show you your inventory so hopefully it shows up here raffle ticket everyone and i'm 200 coins poorer and hopefully you know you'll win you can buy more like it says here if you want to buy more tickets uh, you can it increases your chances and um yeah either way guys i think that's going to be it for the end of the video uh once again thank you to the hero guild this is a really good thing, I think, for the community in general. Uh, it gives people a thing to do rather than just sit around an AFK. People who can't afford hero points, or hero points, can't afford Artix points, can actually get Artix points, and that's great. Uh, you can enter raffles, which I'm pretty sure people love to do, uh, especially on Twitter as well. And um, yeah, once again, big thank you to those guys there at Hero Guild. And um, I hope that if you guys do want to join, I do have the link posted in the description. Uh, just click that, make a Discord account if you don't have one, and basically do all the steps I showed you. It should be easy enough, hopefully. And uh, yeah, start doing those challenges or just talking in the guild chat if you join the guild, talking in the Discord, you'll get coins via that way. Uh, it's just like kind of passive uh, coin gains doing that, which is nice. And overall, I think it's just, once again, a great thing for the community. Uh, if you guys want to join, feel free. And yeah. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good day, good night, good evening, whatever time it may be for you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.